tell us just how many Americans are tapping into their retirement to pay their current bills. And of course, the expert warned that could come at an extreme price. I'll report tonight from NBC's Chris Jensen. When Amy Shanklin's husband, John, got laid off, they had credit card debt, big medical expenses, and two young sons. We didn't know what to do. It was either bankruptcy or cash in our IRA. The Shanklins decided to drain both of their retirement accounts, an increasingly common decision. A new study shows that more than one in four households with a 401k or other retirement account will withdraw some or all of it to pay for non-retirement needs, things like mortgages, credit card debt, and the kids' college tuition. But experts say it's a deeply troubling trend. If they cannot pay their bills while they have a paycheck coming in, how do they think they're going to pay those exact same bills later on in life when they no longer have a paycheck coming in? It makes no sense in any circumstance to take a loan from a 401k. Loans that result in penalties, taxes, and lost interest. People in their 40s are most likely to borrow against their 401ks, but the financial pressure doesn't end there. Another new study by AARP shows that the older you are, the higher your credit card debt. For the first time, people over age 50 are having more credit card debt, $2,000 more than people who are younger. And that debt makes it more likely they'll borrow against their 401k. It's a vicious cycle. How to avoid it? Experts say you need a rainy day fund that's not your 401k and start saving separately for retirement in your 20s so you have at least a year's salary at 35, three years at 45, and by retirement at 67, you should have put away at least eight times your final salary. Six years after tapping out their IRAs, the Shanklins are both working and once again saving for retirement. We worked very hard to get to where we are today determined to enjoy their golden years after learning some hard lessons. Chris Jansing, NBC News, New York.